I'm super thrilled and really privileged to be with you today uh, to celebrate the European Science Festival. And I'm really proud that it comes from the part of the world that we know the best. So Slovenia is very close to where I come from. Um, I'm, I'm from Serbia and I'm the vice president of the European Science Engagement Association. And uh, we as association are proud that a lot of European entities are members, including Slovenian colleagues who are very active and who have a long tradition in, in science engagement and science communication. Uh, I also wanted to, to tell you a bit more on the, on the European uh, Science Engagement Association. We, we do have uh, a lot of activities uh, around Europe. Can I share my screen now? Is it okay if I... Can you see it now? Do you see the screen that I share? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, yes, it's great. Thank okay, you. okay, perfect. So I'll try to minimize. Okay. Um, so as you as you might know, um, a European Science Engagement Association is uh, uh, is um, working at the European level, but also having members beyond EU. Um, we do try really to uh, involve international community and to have not only professionals, first of all, professionals in science engagement, but, all, but also all others who are active. Uh, Slovenia has always had the great science festivals. Uh, Europe has been uh, improving in that sense, but I think there is a lot to, to be done. So just a little bit more on, on the UC itself. It was established some 20 years ago and it has currently uh, 120 member organizations who are universities, research institutes, uh, science centers, museums, foundations, but also municipalities and individuals uh, who are uh, in different ways engaged uh, in working and bringing closer science and society. So as you well know, uh, there are many science picnics, researchers' nights activities, science parliaments, uh, science cafes. And I think that the number of those engagement events is growing and should grow because we are facing unprecedented challenges. And uh, there are some uh, even thoughts that this might be the game changer for science because it became obvious that science has uh, a great role to play in the society. On the other hand, there is a lot of uh, debate and the lack of trust. So it, it's, a, it's a big task and res responsibility for us all really to, to do our best, especially in these times of crisis. So as you all know, science communication and science engagement, it's about co-creation it's about bringing all parties and making them active so not just as listeners but as, as those who are um, communicating in a two-way and we are not sharing information it's not just outreach uh, everyone should be involved from the very beginning of, of the process uh, so um, as i said before the trust in science is one thing that is this being in the um, in, on the agenda of um, many of us lately because research and researchers are definitely in the limelight of societies. Uh, it used to be a nice thing to have and an add-on to other activities. Uh, it was often perceived as just the dissemination or communication effort, but I think more and more we now see how important it is really to have science involved in everything that society does. Uh, I'm here in Berlin at the Falling Wall Summit, Science Summit, and yesterday we actually discussed the thing that we do have almost an experiment going on where we have large parts of the society that, that are um, somehow questioning science and scientific information. And the conclusion of all of us is that it's not about evidence or just about evidence, it's about the values and the trust and who can build trust and who can engage people better than those who are professionals in science engagement and science communication. So I think that festivals like this one and activities uh, that are connected to it are becoming more and more important and hopefully it will increasingly get more attention from founding authorities at the European but also at, at national levels. And I'm glad to hear, to hear and to see that Slovenian Ministry and Science Fund are, are with us here today. So just to put it uh, briefly in a nutshell, we see what we do as activity and benefits of higher education and research shared with the public. And all those 
festivals and activities are ways to interact, to listen to the society, but then find mutual benefits and, Im and improve uh, societal cohesion because engagement is about bringing people together, um, discussing the values, sharing values and bringing communities. And science is a part of the overall culture of the society. So it, it, it is, I think, obvious to everyone Unfortunately, in these tragic moments, uh, what is the, the, the power of science on one hand and what needs to be done to make that power really useful and present in everything that we do and to give it a proper role in enhancement of our societies and making the societies better. So here is just one graph to show how it's important to have multiple ways of opening science. So it's not just about data and resources, uh, about assessment, peer review, and the research itself. It is about open access, but it, it's also about citizen science and public engagement, public involvement, and first of all, and most of all, co-creation uh, in all of the stages that, that science itself has. Um, one approach to science engagement is that it should really bring the scientific method closer to the society and it's a and it's a big task for all of us involved to to make it known to our societies and to interact on uh, with them exactly in that manner to use critical thinking and to co-create the to de design the the questions and then to find for answers that bring mutual benefits to all and uh, in, in, in short, it's to empower people, it's to involve people, and not just to transfer knowledge, because this is what we do. There are several toolkits, there are many European projects like RRI Toolkit and, and projects in which uh, we all participated in Horizon 2020 and now uh, in Horizon Europe also, that are looking at how to empower societies, but also how to empower researchers, because it's obviously that they need to be engaged, but they cannot do it on themselves. So there are many stakeholders that need to be involved and they have a role to play in that. And it's very good that there are many international trends now uh, at the European level and beyond that are looking at citizen science, at uh, scientific literacy uh, and science education. So what could be done? Uh, there are also a few guidebooks uh, at the European level and, and many conferences um, and policy briefs and collaboration platforms. And we're really glad that this festival will also bring some of them to the, uh, to the eye of the public and, and all the participants in the day to come. And uh, as an effort really to bring the community of science engagers, but also of all other stakeholders together uh, European Science Engagement Association, UC, has created this European Science Engagement Platform. And it's a platform to share different models, uh, different recommendations, uh, uh, blueprints, ideas, so that a lot of people can be involved. It's for beginning beginners, but it's also for practitioners that are very experienced because we can always find something interesting. And I invite all the participants and the organizers of the festival really to have a close look at different formats and to contribute and, to, and participate. I think it's very important to keep track on what we are doing, to really add value to our individual activities at different uh, subnational, national and European level and to be able to link together those activities and then work jointly on achieving those SDG goals and all other goals that we have ahead of us. Uh, and I want at the end to invite you all to join us at our celebration. Uh, we are celebrating 20 years of UC and uh, we have a conference that is supposed to be more than a conference so on the 7th of December online as you are because of, of the circumstances. We will uh, co-create, contemplate, celebrate and, and hopefully have some great time discussing the way forward and how we can better uh, include and somehow connect our activities so that we can better connect our societies. Uh, it's important that uh, us that share the same values of integrity, of uh, uh, making our societies better and enhancing them to meet and to find the way to, to go forward and really to for the betterment of, of our society. So uh, 
this is my info. I would uh, just at the end like to thank you and to invite you all to join us in one effort that was launched today, um, this morning, and it, it will be uh, prepared in the years to come. Actually, we want to make, uh, to ask for the EU and UN International Year of Science Engagement. I think that this conference will have a lot of uh, interesting discussions during these uh, three days and that we can all at some point uh, join forces and try to make it not just a symbolic year of science engagement, but really to make it a year in which we would, uh, all of us, uh, make some new strategies on how to mainstream all those principles of openness, inclusiveness, importance of science education, and all uh, other pillars of responsible research and innovation that we jointly want to contribute to. So with this, I, I thank you and I congratulate the organizers and the European Commission, of course, and everyone involved. And uh, we are happy that uh, Slovenia is having a presidency um, uh, it's so close to us. We are here uh, in Serbia just aspiring to become EU member, but working closely with the whole of European Commission and uh, European Science Engagement is looking forward to having new members and to go hand in hand with all other actors in Europe in promoting, communicating and engaging people with science. Thank you very much for having us today. Greetings from UC.